Good morning, dear students. Welcome to 8th Standard Geography Lessons. Today, let us discuss the third lesson, Atmosphere in Geography. This lesson will be taught to you in two different parts. As the lengthy lesson, as the lesson is lengthy, I am teaching you this in two parts. In the part one, I give you the introduction and up to the different layers of atmosphere. Rest of the things we will discuss in the part two. Dear students, 8th standard geography is physical geography. All the concepts are very, very important. You need to learn everything in detail for the better understanding. Hope you watch till the end for the better understanding of the lesson. Welcome to Lesson Atmosphere. Chapter 3 Atmosphere Part 1 In this chapter, you will learn the meaning, importance, composition and formation of atmosphere. Likewise, the components of atmosphere, temperature, pressure, winds, humidity, clouds and their functions and effects. All these will be taught to you in the second part of the lesson. The differences between atmosphere and climate also will be discussed in this chapter. Now let us know the meaning and importance of atmosphere. What is atmosphere? It's very simple, dear students. Atmosphere is a thin layer of gases. We are surrounded by many number of gases. Not only gases, even dust particles too. And water vapor too. So, we are surrounded by many number of gases, dust particles and water vapor and all these combinedly form atmosphere. So the earth is surrounded by layers of gases, dust particles and water vapor. This area is called atmosphere. Sphere is an area which is covered by thin layer of gases, dust particles and water vapor. This layer of gases forms protective boundary. Actually, we are protected by the ultraviolet rays of sun. Otherwise, we had to receive acid rain and ultraviolet rays which are very harmful to human life. Therefore, we are protected by the natural thin layer of gases. So the outer space is completely of different layers that you will learn now. The thickness of these, the atmosphere, the thickness of the atmosphere is about 1000 kilometer. Now, let us know about the importance of atmosphere. Why should we have this atmosphere? What is the benefit that all the living beings are getting from this atmosphere. Dear students, because of atmosphere, we are having clouds, we are having timely rainfall and also moderate weather on this earth. It's because of atmosphere, we have timely rainfall, precipitation, etc. Atmosphere traps heat and makes earth planet for living for all the living organisms like plants, birds, animals, human, all these creatures, living beings are living happily. It is because the heat is trapped and make the this earth a livable place. Atmosphere is a very important for all forms of life on the earth. 
different gases of atmosphere help plants, animals and human beings. The atmosphere also contains dust particles which help us in the formation of water droplets and thereby we receive rainfall. The water vapor in the atmosphere is the source of clouds and precipitation. The atmosphere traps heat and energy and has the influence on the weather condition of a place. So the weather condition of a place is decided by the atmosphere. The water vapor in the atmosphere is the source of clouds because of atmosphere we have clouds in the sky and thereby rainfall too. This is the advantage of atmosphere. Now let us know about the meaning of weather. What is weather? Dear students, weather keeps changing from time to time. Atmospheric condition of a place at a given time is called weather. This weather is influenced by rainfall, temperature and humidity. Weather condition of a place is influenced by various elements such as temperature, pressure, wind, humidity, clouds and rainfall. Weather condition of an area over a long period say for example 35 to 40 years time is called climate. What is climate? Usually people are confusing or confused between weather and climate. Weather is different, climate is different. Climate is an average weather condition of a place, particular place, which is considered for a long period, say for example, 35 to 40 years. Now let us see the factors which influence climate. Factors like the position or location of a place on this earth, water bodies, vegetation that is forest, relief features that is the physical features on the surface of the earth influence climatic condition. If a place is on the hill, the climate is different. If the place is near the equator, then the place will experience huge, I mean, place will experience high temperature. If the place is near the, nearer the Arctic or Antarctic, then it will have very cold temperature. If the place is nearer the vegetation like forest, then it will have cool temperature. So this is what, dear students, where the place is located that influences the climate of the area. Likewise, water bodies, vegetation, relief features influence the climate of a place. Now let us see composition of atmosphere. The atmosphere is a mixture of different gases, dust particles and water vapor. In this atmosphere, we have 78.08% of nitrogen, 20.94% of oxygen, 0.93% of argon, 0.03% carbon dioxide and 0.05% ozone. These are the different gases that we have. The students, among this, Nitrogen percentage is very high. Oxygen percentage is moderate. That's why the life exists on this earth. In this picture, you can see the combination of different types of gases surrounding the earth. Now, let us know the layers of atmosphere. Dear students, as we move away from the earth towards the sky, that is exosphere, we need to cross different layers of gases. That layer of gas 
is called by different names. They are called troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. First of all, let us know the first layer of atmosphere that is troposphere, then stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, which is also called ionosphere, and finally, let us know about exosphere. Today, I will teach you about troposphere. Dear students, troposphere is the lowest layer above the Earth's surface. You have got troposphere. That means we are all living in troposphere. This troposphere extends up to 18 kilometers from the equator and near the poles it is just 8 kilometers. Right? It extends up to 18 kilometers at the equator and 8 kilometers in the poles from the surface of the Earth towards the sky. This layer has all the atmospheric elements, for example, temperature, pressure, winds, clouds, rainfall. Everything is seen in this layer that is troposphere. All the living beings are living in troposphere only. See, dear students, this is the picture I am showing you. This is the picture from your textbook. See the earth surface here down. Then above that you have mountains and clouds and that area is a troposphere which is extended up to 8 kilometers at the poles and 18 kilometers in the equator. Here temperature decreases with height Troposphere, here weather changes from time to time. Temperature, pressure decrease with the increase of altitude. That means as you go higher, temperature reduces. Now let us know stratosphere, the second layer. Above troposphere, you have stratosphere. Stratosphere is the second layer of the atmosphere. After crossing stratosphere, you reach, after crossing troposphere, you reach stratosphere. This layer extends up to 50 kilometers from the surface. Dear students, again see here, this stratosphere is the area where all our jet planes, aeroplanes move. It, you know, it uh, has ozone layer, ozone sphere has here. Here temperature goes minus 63 degree Celsius, you know, minus. Temperature increases with the height. So, in this, temperature gradually increases. Stratosphere lies between troposphere and mesosphere. In this layer, Ozone is the most important gas which absorbs ultraviolet rays of the sun. Because of this, we are protected and all harmful rays of the sun do not reach the earth. We are fully protected. This layer is free from clouds and other important weather phenomena and it provides ideal flying condition for jet aircrafts. All the jet aircrafts move above 18 kilometers from the earth's surface up to 50 kilometer. So because there are no clouds, jet planes, aeroplanes prefer this area. Otherwise, aeroplanes will have to face the turbulence. You might have experienced while flying when the plane try to land or try to enter the turbulent area or where the clouds gather in the cluster of clouds there will be high uh, friction and the engine has to work with all its force there will be noise in the engine so at that time sometimes 
the first uh, time flyers will go panic also because at that time uh, you will you might have heard you know people especially from the cockpit the pilots keep telling you know uh, the plane has entered turbulence area that means it is a cluster of clouds so once the plane passes the turbulent situation then it gently flies but in the stratosphere because the area is free from cloud there is no such problem now we have the third layer in the atmosphere mesosphere mesosphere is the third layer in the earth's atmosphere it extends up to 80 kilometers from the surface and lies above stratosphere here you can see mesosphere here all meteors keep moving and even radio waves are sent in this mesosphere here temperature decreases with the height and minus 100 degree celsius is seen here in this layer temperature decreases with the increase in altitude this layer has the coldest temperature in the atmosphere that is minus 100 degrees celsius now we have thermosphere thermosphere rises you know in this layer temperature rises drastically and it is also called ionosphere here the gaseous atoms are ionized due to very high temperature the ions found in this layer which reflect radio waves and help us in transmitting radio signals dear students you can see ionosphere here now we have exosphere exosphere is the topmost layer of the atmosphere in this layer elements of atmosphere is very very rare and pressure is extremely low so this picture is given in your textbook please once you refer dear students we shall learn elements of weather in the next class Keep watching SPSR's online classes and all the important lessons will be taught. Those who have subscribed recently, watch the first three lessons, first two lessons in geography. And this lesson will be taught in another two parts. As the lesson is lengthy, I will present this lesson in the part two and part three. I wish you all the best. Thank you.